How you guys doing? I just wanted to do a new uh, trailer video walk around uh, update to show uh, the equipment that I have on my trailer. So what I have here is a six and a half by 14 tandem axle trailer. And uh, right now I currently have all the batteries plugged in because we're having a, a winter free snap down here in Texas. So I'm just keeping uh, all the batteries plugged in. Uh, you can see here keep digital gauge on there with a NOCO Genius 5 amp charger on each battery that way I can see the battery state of charge so I got both batteries for each machine then I have my 12 volt system battery here and you can see there all the batteries are fully charged up because I've had them on the charger for a couple days so that's how I keep my batteries charged up. So back to the trailer, I have uh, two 10 gallon a minute IGX 800s, 3000 PSI. And I uh, have a hot box for one of the units. Uh, the hot box goes to this unit here. So this will be the hot unit and that would be the cold unit okay and then i have a 22 gallon fuel cell that feeds uh, both machines uh, they consume about an hour or a gallon an hour so uh, run one machine for about 10 hours or so and then or run them run one machine for approximately 21 22 hours As you can see, I have uh, double filters, double water filters here, just to uh, be sure. And uh, I have a FlowPro remote control uh, bypass for uh, each machine. And there's my other one right here makes it real simple so that way when you're downstreaming you can open and close your bypass uh, remotely makes it much easier 100 feet of uh, flexzilla three quarter inch hose to fill my tank so i also have a inline filter for my tank that goes inside here um, i have a float valve in there and if i need to i have another connection here that I can hook another hose to and double fill. Both of them have float valves in them. And I got my the 22 foot ladder, multi-purpose ladder. I built this ladder rack for it, make it easier to store. And uh, got a, a Northern Tool toolbox in the front here storing makes it easier to store all types of parts tool bag here with all the tools and everything I need extra equipment a lot of different things in here and then going to the back here I have a uh, Comet P40 gas software system uh, works really well and then I also have two 50 gallon vertical tanks. These are round vertical tanks. These are a little different than the 55 square vertical tanks. I kept having issues with the 55 gallon vertical tanks. Uh, they kept cracking in the corners because it put so much stress on them. These tanks are a lot different where there's no stress cracking in the corners because it's round. So. 250 gallon vertical tanks. They're both connected together. I can either use one tank or the other. <clears throat> so I have a three-way valve on here. So first of all, I have my downstream for one machine going to this tank. And then if you look, I have my downstream right here for the other tank. And uh, all I have to do is just turn this valve and it'll pull chemical from this tank 
then when I'm done or if I want to downstream something else I have a another hose here that just basically sits right here and I can put this in water downstream water and flush it out or I can downstream a degreaser whatever case whatever I need to do as far as that's concerned makes it much easier and as far as the breather tubes a lot of times with these caps the springs in them tend to fail so bleach starts splashing out of them so instead what I did is I sealed it up and I put a vent tube here makes it much better you don't get anything splashing out of there now as far as how this works with the P40 I don't have a normal proportioning system what I do have though is I have a a uh, metering valve for my bleach so when I want to meter a certain amount of chemical I just turn that valve to where I need to and it'll pull bleach and then it'll mix in into the water stream and I also have a remote shut off here so when I want to activate my bleach I just hit the remote it'll open up the valve and allow it to pull bleach when I want to rinse hit the remote valve and it'll shut the bleach off now the way the handles are set right now the three ways you can see that both handles are in the upward position there and there when they're both in the up position you're gonna have a hose right here that goes inside my bleach tank or in my side of my water tank here it's gonna pull water and flush everything out and that's important to make sure I flush all the chemical out of my pump but when I want to pull bleach from this tank I shut that handle down it'll pull bleach from this tank if I want to pull bleach from the other tank I just flip that handle in the up position then I shut that handle down and it'll pull bleach from that tank very simple my 12 volt system I also am able to pull chemical from either tank so what I have here is a three-way valve here so currently with the way that valve is pointing it's gonna pull bleach from that tank if I want to pull bleach from this tank all I have to do is rotate the valve and now it's gonna pull bleach from this tank this is how I designed it this is how I wanted it set up I didn't want both tanks connected together where it pulls bleach from both tanks at the same time. I wanted to be able to isolate the tanks in case there was any type of issue where the entire system is not down. As far as the hose reels are concerned, I have pressure hose for both machines, 200 feet of hose on each one, 300 feet of half inch line for the 12 volt system. 300 feet of 5 8 inch hose for the P40. And I also have another uh, toolbox that keeps parts and extra pump, uh, other items in here, uh, uh, face protection, eye protection, and then uh, of course, got to keep a spare tire just in case there's any issues. And then I got my sludge sucker. Uh, if you ever have any standing water that you can't move out of the way, the sludge sucker comes in handy. Makes it real nice and easy to remove water. <clears throat> as far as uh, some of the surface cleaners that I run, I have a few here. These are the two main ones that I keep in my truck. I have the Whisper Wash Mondo 49 inch and I have the Whisper Wash 31 inch Mini Mondo. Then also over here in the corner, I have a Whisper Wash 36 inch Maxima, Whisper Wash uh, 24 inch Ground Force. Uh, as you can see, I'm a Whisper Wash guy because I believe that Whisper Wash makes the best surface cleaners. They're real easy to maintain. Real easy to uh, uh, maintain out in the field. So this is 
This is my trailer here. Give you guys some ideas on how things can be set up uh, in the future. My plans are uh, to get another hot box. I'm gonna have to do some rearranging. Of course, I'm gonna have to move the fuel tank over just a little bit, and uh, I'll have to shift uh, this over some. Probably have to cut some of this metal off here so I can move it over. I'll have to move the uh, battery box for the 12 volt system over to make room to put two hot boxes so that way both machines can be hot water. And uh, got your vise here. Really comes in handy when it comes to having to repair hoses or fix things. And then everything here as far as pulling this trailer, this is what I pull it with. I have a uh, Chevy Silverado 2500 heavy duty. It pulls it just fine. All right, well, that's my uh, new updated walk around. You all know, take it easy.